Stanley Whitman House, Museum of Early American History. Stanley Whitman House is a museum of early American history located in the heart of historic Farmington Village. This much-loved landmark is not only a museum, but also a welcoming community center. This rare combination makes it a unique resource in Connecticut and a special presence in the town of Farmington. We do history in a vibrant way here. We were the second organization to come in under the wings of the FVGLA. Since then, the museum has grown. We are community-based and extremely active. The museum, of course, keeps our history alive with the school programs for children. We have about 4,000 school children here a year. For adults who come on tours and for all the special events that go on there that expose us to what colonial life was like in Farmington. We do research about local history, the early history of Farmington. We do community programs of many kinds. The historic house, which is the heart of the museum, was built sometime between 1709 and 1720. It was the first National Historic Landmark named in the state of Connecticut in 1961. And it's a first period post-medieval building that was built by the Puritans who settled and really created Connecticut. Surrounding the historic house is a historic landscape with heritage stone walls, authentic 18th century period gardens, and a variety of other things that support the interpretation of the early history of Farmington and in fact of Connecticut. We're a very welcoming and warm museum. We're not the kind of museum that you feel intimidated by when you walk in. In fact, just the opposite. There's always a lot going on here, but the doors are open for people who just want to wander in and poke around. In fact, we welcome that kind of visitor. The museum put an addition on the back of the historic house in 2003 that really extended areas where volunteers and visitors and school children could play with history and get their hands into history. So there are classrooms that are built in such a way that you can throw bread dough around and you can paint and you can do messy things, which is important to learning. There are also spaces where volunteers can engage in research. We have a library and a collection storage area that houses our 3,000 object collection. We have an archives of close to 4,000 items. So we encourage people to come in and get involved in the background and the actual doing of history because that's where the fun is. That's where the inspiration and the excitement is in history. It's not sitting and listening to a lecture by an expert. It's getting involved and in coming up with the questions. It's coming up with the answers and more importantly it's the journey of discovery. This museum will always be vital, it will always be relevant and current because of the support of the FEGLA. It became a museum because the community wanted one. The community wanted a history museum that spoke to its very special legacy. We're community generated, we're community supported, and we're also community integrated town in that everything we do involves volunteers and people in the implementation. It's a very special place. It operates like no other museum any place else, and I'm very proud to be here. Mm -hmm.